Hello and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will look at commands that help you find files of interest. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can learn something new. One of the common things you will do is look for files of interest, whether it be by name or by other properties. The locate command is a quick and easy way to find a file within the file system if you know the name of that file. So for example, if we type locate Alice block and hit return, on the default cane install, we get three results. The locate command is fast because it basically searches through an existing database of files. If you create a new file, then the database will not know about it. Let's create a new file with a touch command. Touch new file.txt. Then we will use locate to find it by typing locate new file.txt and we get nothing returned to us. So what we need to do is to update the database and the way to do that is to type the command update db. This will update the database with new files. So you need to be root to do this so we can type sudo update db. Once we do that we can go ahead and retype locate new file.txt and now the locate command will find the newly added file. Let's create another file named new file with a capital N. Then we're going to type the update db command to update the database with the new file. So touch documents slash capital N new file.txt sudo update db. If we do locate for new file.txt again, but with just all lowercase, we will only see one file. But if we add the dash i option to ignore case, then we should see the pass for both files. Now if we add the dash c option for count, we only get a tally of the number of files that match that pattern. So we're going to do locate dash i c new file dot text. And here we get back the number two because we have two instances for new file with lower and mixed cases. Let's look for the command lsusb again. We're going to type locate lsusb. We see that this returns multiple instances of lsusb. So which version is it executing when we type lsusb? The which command will tell you the full path of the command that you are going to execute. So just type in which followed by the command you want to execute. For example, which lsusb. And it will come back with slash user slash bin slash lsusb. This could be very helpful if you are on an unknown system and the commands you are typing are giving you unexpected results. You could very well be executing a modified version of the command. A more common command to use is the find command, which searches the directory hierarchy for files based on selected attributes and filters. It may be a little slower to run than locate because it is looking through an entire file system or whatever portion you specify instead of looking up in a pre-populated database. But this command is extremely powerful. Let's go ahead and cd back to our home folder and then run the simplest form of the find command to look for a specific file in the file system. We will use the dash name option to specify the file name. So we're going to do cd and then find dash name new file dot text. This will show us the file that we created earlier. Let's change directory to another folder like the desktop and then run the command again. cd desktop find dash name new file dot text. This time we don't see anything. The reason is by default the find command looks from the current directory and down. This find command does not return any results because we are now in the desktop folder 
where the file doesn't exist. But if we specify from the starting path of our home directory with the tilde, then the command will return with the path of new file.txt. So once again, find tilde dash name new file.txt. Let's take a look at some common ways of using the find command with a focus on forensic applications. So an example of using find to look in the home folders for all files named dot bash underscore history, you can do find slash home for all the regular users and then slash root for the root user dash name dot bash underscore history. This gave us a bunch of permission denied errors. That's because by default, we are not allowed to look into another user's folders. We can prepend sudo and do it again. So sudo find slash home slash root dash name dot bash underscore history. Here we see that the dot bash history file exists for the users Kane, Blue Monkey Forensics, and root. What if we're not looking for a specific file, but rather a file name that fits a certain pattern? We can use regular expressions in our arguments. So let's look at the entire file system for everything that ends in .jpg. And we can use the wildcard star. So we can type sudo find slash dash name star.jpg. So this returns a lot of files, but let's continue to narrow down the search for files ending in JPEG, and it has to be over one megabyte in size. What we can do is add the dash size option with plus one M for the argument. So basically we have sudo find slash dash name star.jpg dash size plus one M. Here we are left with a smaller set of files. But what if we are now interested in knowing the sizes of those files? Let's keep adding to the find command. Another option is the dash exec option where you can now execute shell commands. In this case, since we are interested in the size of the file, we can use the ls-lh command. So basically the command we're going to do is sudo find slash dash name star dot jpeg dash size space plus one capital M dash exec ls dash lh open curly braces and curly braces backslash and then semicolon. We use the curly braces as a stand-in for each of the results from find, which is a path name of the JPEG file over one meg. Lastly, we specify the semicolon to denote the end of the command. Since the semicolon needs to be escaped with the backslash, we'll add the backslash. This will return the long file listing with human readable sizes of all JPEG files in a file system which are over one megabytes in size. Another forensic application of the command using find is to search for those JPEGs which are over one meg, then obtain their MD5. And then we're gonna write the output to the file called slash temp slash md5sum.txt. So the command is gonna be sudo find slash dash name star.jpg dash size plus one capital M dash exec space md5 space open curly brackets and then n curly brackets with no space inside backslash semicolon and then redirect to slash temp slash md5sum.txt. To see the results, we can look at the resulting file with your favorite file viewer. So I'm going to do more of slash temp slash md5sum.txt. The next logical thing after finding the files you're interested in would be to copy them out. 
we're going to use the find to search for the files of interest and then pipe the result listing to CPIO to copy them to our staging media. So the command is sudo find slash dash name star dot jpeg dash size plus one capital M pipe CPIO dash PDM and then space slash MNT slash USB slash copies. The P option in CPIO is for pass through, which will read a list of file names from the standard input and then copy them to the specified directory. The dash D option will create directories as needed and the dash M option will preserve the modified time of the file. And to see the results, we can use the tree command on the resulting folder to see that those four files are copied over. Another forensic application of the find command is to look for files which were accessed or modified within a certain time period using the A time or M time options. So we have an example of using find to look at the home folder for all files which were modified within the last 24 hours. So you can do sudo find tilde space dash m time space zero. The results are three files which were modified within the last 24 hours. You can also group multiple search criteria together with the logical or operator expressed with the dash o option. So if we are interested in finding JPEG files over 1 meg or PDFs over 2.8 megs, we can do sudo find slash backslash open parentheses dash name star dot jpg dash size plus 1m dash o dash name star dot pdf dash size plus 2 800k. And lastly, don't forget the backslash in parentheses. The results now displayed are JPEG files over 1 megabyte and also PDF viewers over 2.8 megabytes. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video where we learned about commands that help us find files on a file system. We looked at the locate command which finds files by name the update db command, which updates the search database for the locate command. And lastly, we looked at the find command, which searches for a file within a hierarchy. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like. or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.